Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. I'm moving on to my next guest. You know, Tyler Perry has many, many iterations of, of success. And this one is called The Oval, and I've got two of the stars today. I've got Tasha Story and Devon Johnson here to talk about the mid-season finale. Welcome, guys, to the Valder Beebe Show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Tasha, I'm going to start with Always First in My World. We're at the mid-season finale, and I went back and looked at some of the previous footage. It's been a rough year for you guys to get to this mid-season. You want to kind of capsulize this for us and what we're going to see? Oh, wow. Well, you're right. It has been a road uh, (laughs) for everyone involved. Um, And I think specifically for, you know, Richard and Nancy just trying to navigate our way through this marriage in in spite of the... um, bad choice that Nancy's made. (laughs) Um, I think in terms of the finale, you know, I can't give away too much, but um, you know, there's probably going to be somebody who dies. Uh, A lot of sex and uh, a lot of fighting. I can't wait to see what happens with uh, Alan and and how he handles the president for sleeping with his wife. And hopefully Nancy and and Richard (laughs) will, you know, reveal maybe Nancy. No, I'm not. I don't even know. But she has to reveal the father at some point in the season, whether it's this one or uh, the next half. So we're just looking forward to see what exactly happens. I can't really tell, but it's going to be exciting. I know it's going to be. And Nancy didn't bow the pressure when he was asking her, you know, who the father was. She's like very stoic. I like that. Yeah. Why do you like that? That's terrible. Well, because she's fighting. I mean, because if she reveals it, then she may not have a chance at her marriage. And so she's at a she's at a personal struggle. And you know, do you, sometimes you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. And so it's just exciting for for me to just watch and see how you know how her journey ends with that and what the right decision might be. That's correct, Devon. And I mean, she was very stoic. You know, she was she would not bow to the pressure. That takes a lot from a human being. Yes. Can, can we define? Can we talk about what the actual pressure is? She did wrong. Can she just be accountable for that a little quicker than what she is right now? Because Richard is suffering, and I just want some information. And little Nancy <laughs> and her little godfearing self just want to be stoic and not tell me. <laughs> So I just go off the <laughs> wire and now I'm acting like a big Barry right now, just doing some crazy stuff because Nancy has been stoic. Uh, nah, Rich, Richard is distraught about this. Richard and I don't agree with Nancy's choices right now. We don't. Well, I think you, you're on the record for, for that, okay, Devon? You're, you're on the record. <laughs> we, we, hear, we hear you. But we thank love you. your part also, too, and we love you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. And I actually love Nancy. I'm just not happy with her right now. <laughs> Let me ask you, you've got this role. What is your friends and family saying to you in private? You know, what, what are they saying? Uh, well, friends and family, they are saying what everybody else is saying, which is what's going to happen, who the daddy is. And I'm like, stop asking me about spoiler alerts in the show. I'm not telling you anything. So that's pretty much what they're more excited about what's going to happen in the show than talking about me in Nashville. So, so that's really? true. Yeah, they they get I would think they would be throwing them. you a party every day and oh no wait, no you know? no they they want to know what's going on in the show and I'm like yeah well I'm just a part of it to them so <laughs> I get overlooked for the dramatics of the show sometimes oh, well. so yeah well my family wants to, wants Richard to stop to leave Nancy alone and don't be so mean to her did your family cancel you while they were talking about that so we can get Richard in the right place. <laughs> Seem to be skipping some parts here. We, Devon, we see you have ha, have some few things that need to come to the surface, and hopefully come to the oh, surface absolutely. in the mid-season finale. Um, <laughs> when when do we get to see this mid-season finale? 
It's um March. Is it March 11th? May May 11th. May 11th. I'm sorry. Where am I? Yes. Yeah. I've been in the bubble. <laughs> I'm in the COVID bubble. At time there you go. Yeah. May 11th is coming. The mid season finale. Yes. Well, we can't wait. You guys are doing a really good job, and I've just got to ask you, uh, uh, Devon. You know, you're holding up, you're being this character, you're representing men, you're representing black mm-hmm. men. How is this Absolutely. character, how are you bringing all this together? Are you taking from personal experience, or is this just your character? Because you're doing a good job, you really are. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. And that's one of the things that I like about uh, the character of Richard Halston is that he does, and, and the Halston family, we, we are an African-American family, and we get the show how a family of integrity uh, we, we 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 um we do we are very traditional in the sense of um being a solid african-american family uh, which is nice to see on tv but also to see us navigate through challenges when things you know when things happen how as a family you fight for the family you fight for what you've invested in and built for 20 plus years and I like that journey. I like being able to walk in that character's shoes and show that some things are worth worth fighting for. Excuse me, my light is uh, <laughs> making my eyes water. But some things are worth fighting for. And if you put in the work, you put in the effort, um, that that uh, you don't have to give up so quickly. I think a lot of times we give up too quickly and we walk away. It's easier to walk away than it is to stay there and be in the fight. And uh, that's what I love about Richard and the Halston family. Well, we love the character that you both play in The Oval. We're so glad that you're there bringing these parts to life, and we will be there in the mid-season finale. We'll be there all the time. How about that? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Dallas. I love you. Yeah, Edison, you Edison. We got a hometown girl, Tasha. Sorry, Dallas, you guys know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys both you. for being yeah. here on the Valder BB Show. It's been my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Keep, Thank you keep doing good work. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the love and support. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.